What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is the February 2021 Newark Liberty International Airport update. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off this airport update, we have this Air India 787-8 Dreamliner. This is in the Mahatma Gandhi livery. He just came in from his overnighter from Mumbai, uh, and he'll be loading up passengers tonight for his overnighter back out to Mumbai. Moving on down the line, we have this Spirit AC-21. This is in the Bananas livery. He just came in from Orlando, MCO, uh, and he'll be loading up passengers shortly for his flight out to Houston Intercontinental. Next to the Spirit AC-21 in the Bananas livery, we have the Scandinavian Airlines SAS AC-3300. This is in the old livery. He's loading up passengers uh, for his flight back out to Copenhagen after coming in from Copenhagen. Now, um, in my October airport update, I'll put a card up right now, uh, in my October 2020 airport update for Newark, I said that this is being operated by an Airbus A350. Um, that actually isn't the case anymore. They operated the A350 to Newark for about two months, I believe. Uh, sometime from uh, early October to late December, uh, and it's back to normal AC3300 service. So uh, right now, this route is accurate. Moving on down the line, we have this United Airlines Boeing 757-200. This is in the uh, Her Art here, New York, New Jersey livery. He's just pushing back for his flight out to Denver after coming in from Orlando MCO. Next to the United 757-200, we have this United 787-10 Dreamliner. This is in the Blue Evolution slash New Livery. Uh, he just came in from Dublin, and he's going to wait till around 5 o'clock in the evening uh, until he loads up passengers for a flight out to Tel Aviv. Next to the United 787-10 Dreamliner in the New Livery, we have this United Airbus A319. This is in the New Livery. He is also pushing back, except he's going to um, Bozeman, Montana after coming in from Salt Lake City. Just pulled into gate S4 or Sierra 4, we have this United 777-300ER. This is in the New Livery. He just came in from Milan Malpensa Airport, and in the evening he'll be loading up passengers for an overnighter out to Rome, Fiumcino, FCO. Moving on to the Alaska aircraft on this side of the airport, we have this Alaska Honor and Goes Who Serve 737-800. He came in from San Francisco and later today he'll be loading up passengers for his flight out to Seattle, Tacoma. Moving on to the mainland and regional stands, we have this United Star Alliance 737-800 is in the Star Alliance livery, like I said. He just came in from Bogota in Colombia, and later today he'll be loading up passengers for a flight out to Liberia International Airport in Costa Rica. Next to the United Star Alliance 737-800, we have this uh, United 737-800, this is in the Blue Evolution slash New Livery. He just came in from Santo Domingo, Las Americas International Airport, and later today he'll be loading up passengers for a flight out to Nassau in the Bahamas. Next to the United 737-800 in the Blue Evolution livery, we have this United Express Embraer ERJ-175. This is in the Continental slash Old livery. He's loading up passengers for a flight out to Nashville after coming in from Key West. And here we have a Delta Boeing 737-800. He's pushing out of a gate S13 or Sierra 13 after coming in from Atlanta, Hartsville, Jackson. And right now he's pushing out for a flight out to Salt Lake City. Moving on to the taxiways, we have this cargo jet Boeing 767-300 freighter. He came in from Hamilton, Ontario a few days ago, and now he's pushing back for his flight out to Bermuda. And here on the taxiway leading to the international aircraft, we have this United 787-10 Duma, it's in the Continental slash Old Livery. He is taxiing to gate S5 or Sierra 5, where he'll be loading up passengers for an overnighter out to Zurich after coming in from London Heathrow. So now that the airport update part of the video is done, I just want to give you guys a quick update on how my model airport building is going. So as you guys saw in the update, I did actually add grass. Uh, I went to Hobby Lobby about a week or two ago, uh, back in January, and I actually got myself modeling grass and modeling glue. Um, and it's quite a funny story. I had the whole roll of modeling grass, and I literally just ran out of modeling glue. Like, I still have the roll I'm sitting behind my door over there. Um, but I just ran out of modeling glue and I haven't gotten the chance to get more modeling glue. So once I'm able to put the modeling grass down, which is hopefully going to be sometime this month or next month, the my model airport is pretty much going to be complete. Um, and all I really am going to need to do is continue working on the stands. So basically here I'm going to put a taxiway and here I'm also going to do this design with the stands 
over here. And there's gonna be another taxi right here, which is why the Delta is just pushing out into a blank space. And of course, I'm not going to work on the cargo section. I really need to build up my cargo fleet. Right now I have zero cargo aircraft in my fleet um, besides the cargo jet 767-300, but that really isn't a cargo jet. Uh, it's just something that I customed. So yeah, that I'm not really gonna work on this month. But yeah, that was the airport um, tour sort of part of the video done. And now let's get to the outro. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos. And comment down below what you guys think I should improve in my airport updates. Uh, and if you want, you guys can request uh, a subscriber slash follower route uh, down in the comments. But yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.